In this workbook, I have a pivot table with product in the report filter area and then the days of the week in the row labels. If I look at the list for the products, we can see six products and they're sorted alphabetically. I'll cancel here and I'm going to the sheet where the source data is. We've got a new product called Binders and it's not been sold yet. So the first order has come in and I'm going to add that to the table. So there's the new order. We sold 50 binders and now I'm going to refresh the pivot table so that they appear there. Now if I right click on any cell and click refresh, we can see that the total has changed. And I'll look at the drop down and binder is in the list now, but it's at the bottom instead of alphabetical. So I'll click cancel. If I try and sort here, nothing shows up. If I try and sort the row labels, I get a sort command. To sort this product, we're going to have to temporarily put it into the row labels area and then move it back. And to move the field, I'll go to the field list and here's product. I'll drag it down to the rows. And now that it's here, I'll click on one of the cells for the products. And when I click this drop down arrow, I can see the products. I'll click sort A to Z, binders now at the top, and I'll move it back to the report filter area. Just drag it back up, and now, even though it's in a new position, it's retained that sort order. So if you have report filters that aren't sorted after you add new items, just move them temporarily, and then move them right back, and they'll be sorted correctly. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.